a very early morning. We are in the car. Right. <laughs> on our way to a lovely little spa break. Looking a little bit rushed out the door this morning. We've um, got all the kids up and out. The boys have gone to breakfast club, which they were very excited about. And got the older two off to school. And yeah, we're on our way to the spa at Cardin, which is at Cardin Park. Um, near Chester. Well, I think it's kind of between Chester and Wrexham. Meaning to go for this spa break, I think this is before lockdown and then COVID happened and I don't know, just didn't happen. So it's been reorganized and we are on our way over an overnight stay. And just today, the two of us are like a nice little date, date day. I don't know the words out there, date, 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 day. God, am I ready for it. I feel like so I've been so stressed out the last few days. Rick keeps um, taking the mickey out of me, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's like Grandmaster Flash. Yeah. <laughs> he keeps playing um, that "Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge." <laughs> he's playing that song at me because. So basically, what's happened is I ran out of my HRT patches, and. More than anything I notice it with my moods and I before I started on the patches and then in between when I've when I've run out I just notice my mood goes like it I just go so down and so low and also really irritable and like I don't want to be around anybody and like everybody just annoys me and I need my own space because they've changed the way they do all the prescriptions and everything so I was trying to ring up to get my prescription get 320 buddy and then in the end I had to do it online and then it was a really dragged out process and then they didn't even tell me that they'd come into the pharmacy so there's been a, a period of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days where I've not had my patches on and like you've got like a day's grace where like your body's okay with the amount of hormones and then I just felt it drop and it's crazy so I don't know it's just getting used to it and getting organized with it as well because I really don't like feeling like that and I also have been feeling really anxious so I don't know anybody who's like perimenopause or feeling you're coming towards menopause um, I think the one thing for me and one thing to maybe look out for more than anything is your change in your mood because I don't really get like down or depressed or um, or feel like that really so I, I just massively noticed it um, also, if you're new here, the reason I'm uh, on HRT at 37 is is due to the cancer treatment, um, the chemo and the radiotherapy sent me into early menopause. So, yeah. You should all come with some warning label when you're on it. Sorry? You should come with some warning label. Who? What do you mean, we should all? What, when women? going through it, yeah. What do you mean? We don't know, do we? Well, no, the thing we is, though, I didn't just know. Absolutely vital. Yeah, you, you know you're sitting me, don't you? So you should have like a t-shirt or something. So that is the reason why I am so ready for this spa day. Although I do feel a lot better today. Today's the first day I've not got up and um, felt like quite low. Yeah, today I'm actually going for a treatment which um, is a treatment specifically tailored for anyone who's been through cancer treatment or who is going through cancer treatment. So I think it's called touch therapy. So I'll tell you a little bit more about it um, after I've had the treatment today. So if you know anybody who has had has been through chemotherapy or radiotherapy or any kind of um, cancer treatment or is going through it and needs that little pick me up, um, I will let you know how it is. But yeah, I think it would have been really nice to have something like this during my treatment um, as well, like when I would have felt up to it. So it's a really nice little treat and it couldn't have come at a better time because, um, I mean, it's been a massive adjustment in general anyway. Um, just kind of like finishing my treatment and getting used to life, I suppose, after chemo and radiotherapy because it does massively affect you um, in so many ways that you don't really think about. It's not like once it's over, it's over. Um, so yeah, it's just really nice to get a day like today where we can just go and just relax, oh, relax and, um, and enjoy.
enjoy it and the spa at Cardin. I've wanted to go for, for so long, it looks absolutely beautiful. But I woke up this morning, it was pouring with rain, so I was thinking we're not going to be able to go in like the garden or anything like that. But I mean, it stopped raining. Yeah, it's been all like it's warm. Still, so it stopped raining. <laughs> yeah. You sounded like Max then for a second. I know, I was literally oh. just thinking that. <laughs> we keep laughing because Max, Max is 13, Rick's son Max is 13, and his voice is breaking, so we're having a lot of moments like that, aren't we? Oh, puberty's hitting like a freight train at the moment. <laughs> He's suddenly gone from being like a little boy to being like a young man, hasn't he? He's so funny. He's shot up. He's taller than me all of a sudden. And he just looks like a young man. It's nice, he's isn't when it? He, he's when he shouts. He shouts like a dog or something. <laughs> Do you know where you're going? No, I've just gone wrong. It's alright. You've gone the wrong way. I know. But it's fine. I'm going to sort it. Are you going to spin around? Yeah. Ah! Um... Yeah. So, <laughs> so we've... So yeah, we've dropped all the kids off at school and we're on our, on our way over. My mum is in charge this evening, so we've got grandparents. Um, we've got one set of grandparents picking up from the school and then my, my mum's coming and taking over. Uh, after that, I'm doing like bedtimes and sorting the dogs out and things. Oh, and all house reliable. Yeah, she's great, isn't she? All them dogs. <laughs> so, so yeah. Mum and Dad have a day off and it's going to be a very nice relaxing day. So I'm going to vlog, but apart from that I'm doing nothing else. I have my book. Oh my god, I've been reading this book. It's so good. I picked this up. Why, why is my voice breaking? <clears throat> picked this book up at the weekend. It's Be Yourself and Happier, The Age Said of Wellbeing. It's by Will Young. Oh my goodness, I'm absolutely loving it. Will Young. Will Young. From Pop Idol, Will Young. I'm, also, I'm reading you'd like that book. Oh, and Rick's got a book also, it's which is really good, yeah, loads of recommendations. it is supposed to be very good. And Rick has got the subtle art of not giving a fuck. I feel like it's quite a manly book as well, so it feels like you're reading it. That's a man's book, it's just swearing on the front. But yeah, the Will Young book, I put it on my Instagram, and then somebody was like, Oh, I that they'd read it, and then they said, Have you listened to the Fern Cotton Happy Place podcast with Will Smith? With Will, Smith, Will Young, and I listened to that last night. And it's so good. He is so funny. I didn't realise how much I really like him. He's really funny. He's, he's nice. Isn't yeah, he? he's a nice he's guy. Nice. But also very intelligent and very funny. So, so yeah, read the book and also listen to the podcast. I also forgot how much I love for Fern Cotton's podcast. So I'm going to start listening to that a little bit more. But yeah, we've also just had a massive conversation about healthy eating on the way over, haven't we? Because um, I don't know. I feel like. Me and Rick eat very, very healthy, but sometimes we don't eat as healthy as we want to, and we've kind of slipped back in. I mean, it's still like super healthy. People would be like, you eat really well, what you're worried about, but for us, there's little things slipping in that we don't like. You know, like little things creeping in, like having like crisps in the house, which I know sounds really OTT, but generally we try and have like health, much healthier snacks. Yeah, but there's, Chris, there's a bit more bit. behind that. It's because if you have crisps and you have biscuits and you have chocolate, I know that I am like, I'm going to have a packet. We were just talking as well, and this is one thing that massively frustrates me at the moment, and I don't think it used to be a thing. I don't think it ever used to be a thing, but nowadays it's like, um, for kids and teenagers, like, it feels like everything's surrounded by food and it's something that constantly frustrates me and I keep trying to like educate, educate the kids and try and get like a little bit more of a balance but we were just saying like when we were kids it was never like everything's circling around like what you're gonna eat and like Effie will go out for food with her friends you know like to like a restaurant or a cafe and, sit and have food which is fine but when it's like the only thing they seem to do as like entertainment or socialising and it's always like rubbish food and I don't know I just feel like everything is surrounded by food if they're not going out for food they're going out to like I don't know like cinema and then having loads and loads of snack like over the top snacks and food or they're going to the shop and getting sweets and crisps and it just seems like everything's like massively massively surrounded like is has junk food in 
involved and it massively frustrates me so we're trying to get like a big balance we're saying it's like because they have more money nowadays you know when, when we were younger it was it was like if you went for food you went for food now if you go to the cinema you go to the cinema and the kids are expected to go for a mcdonald's or a nando's or something and i just think it's dawned on me now that we, we brought them up to a point where it's expectation that mm. you indulge yourself at every point they've yeah. always got money in the pocket yeah. you know they get for the birthdays the and christmas all the kids are sat with 300 quid in the bank yeah, after the ridiculous. birthdays and christmas yeah. and what do they spend it on so it's yeah so we basically like we i mean we I don't feel like we spoil the kids. Oh, we do. I'm sure a lot of people probably think they are spoiled, but I think we're very strict in certain ways. But then in other ways, I feel like we're not doing them any favours. And I don't know, it's just finding that balance of... If they need anything, they get it. Yeah, and it's also they... just finding that balance, isn't it, of like... I don't know. I want them to live a bit of a healthier lifestyle. And they were, but now they're getting to that age where they've got their own freedom a little bit more around food. It's trying to educate them and get them making the right choices rather than just constantly and continuously eating shit, basically. Because it's so, like, the norm now and it frustrates me so much. Um, so, yeah, we were just having a massive chat about that, basically. Yeah. Just saying, like... It looks like I'm crying, but I think I'm moisturising now. <laughs> Topic. <laughs> I don't know what you guys all think about it. I'm sure you lot find it hard. I think it's like once you get to that teenage age, and nowadays, and they're not active. That's the other thing. Like they're not, they get driven everywhere. But, you know, so we try to really counteract that. I try to really not be that parent that picks them up and takes them everywhere and taxes them everywhere because I think it's really good for them to walk, to get exercise. Do, they do sports, they do, you know, Rick owns a gym, so it's like there's so much that they do do, but when they're eating that much sugar and junk food, it's like, well, how do you balance that? <laughs> how do you balance that out? You can't. And try and teach them good habits. I don't know, I find it really, really hard. Yeah, I think it's the culture nowadays for them just to, when they see their friends, they eat. I just eat, eat, eat. We'll just put it down to them and the freedom of money. Because yeah. if you give us, if someone give us 10 quid when we were a kid, you'd go straight to the shop and you'd have bought loads of shit with it. Yeah. So we, it's just the fact that they have access to money. Yeah, but even like, I'll bid 50p yesterday to the, sh went to the shop and bought five of those huge big bars that's and was being, eating them. That's being a kid. I've got yeah. 50p. What is the maximum amount of stuff <laughs> I can get for this money? It is when you're a kid, it's yeah. all about quantity. It's not quality, is it? No. I don't want an extra tasty one bar. Well, yeah. I can get 10 bars of absolute pure crap. Yeah. So just in general, we were just saying like, we need to go back to just eating super, super healthy at home and just try and like balance it out as much as we can and just get them doing as much and, you know, moving more. I mean, we have like screen time on the phone and we put their screen time really low now and that's been great to get them off their phones and actually doing something because they're actually getting to that point of being bored where they're like, okay, well, I can't go on my app whatever apps because you know like my hours up or whatever so then they actually just putting the phone down and going doing something else like going out with the mates or going playing football or something so that I think that's massively made a difference I mean we've noticed it hugely this week haven't we yeah and it's another one it's not healthy eating it's normal eating well yeah that's getting the back thing, to normal isn't it? eating because the norm is now to eat shit yeah and that's what we all get sucked into that's what I've done now over the last six months with everything that's gone off yeah I've piled it on you have not piled it. I have. I feel like shit. But that's because we've got out of a routine. Yeah. And you know, there's there's never any excuse. You just gotta be aware of it. And yeah. I'm aware of obviously everything that we've gone through and done. And then you chuck a house move into it. So something's gonna give. So you are living off convenience food. Yeah. But there's no excuse. And now it's just like we need to get back on it and get back to sort of. If you can't can't grow it, kill it, or pick it. Don't eat it. Exactly, yeah, which is what we generally do, isn't it? We try to really, you know, just eat lots of natural food. Just live in our imaginary farm. <laughs> That's what I always say. I'm going to go to this bar and eat loads of food and drink. <laughs> but it's our treat today. Um, so, yeah, we're on our way, and um, once you get there, I'll show you all around and everything. But also, 
I used the YSL Beauty stuff that I tried out in last week's vlog, you know, that I did the unboxing with you. So I used today the Tinted Moisturiser one. I can't remember the 100% the name of it. I'll show it you later once I get it out of my case. Um, and I'll link it in the description. But oh my God, is it gorgeous. I put it on and I absolutely love it. Like my skin looks really evened out. But it felt really, really light. So all I've got on is that. A little bit of hula bronzer. And then I tinted my eyebrows the other day. So I don't even have to do anything to my eyebrows. With just a kit I got off Amazon as well. So I'll put that in the description as well. Because it was really, really good. It took me two minutes. Um, and they came out fab. Had a little brush so you could get it really um, precise. Ready for a day of pampering and relaxing. And amazing food. obviously just like checked in and we were actually running a little bit late so we had to go straight into um, the treatments which is actually so good because it has made me just relax straight away as soon as we've got here. So I just had my, I think it's called a touch therapy treatment and um, oh my goodness it was so good. It was such a like, relaxing, calming um, treatment and it was more like really gentle massage and stroking and the most amazing head scalp massage and my hair is now absolutely covered in like gorgeous smelling and rose oil so it's actually so nice because i can leave this on all day now while we're in the spa and then wash it this evening and um, it will be so good for my hair and you know i'm all about hair growth and anything to like hydrate and nourish my hair so nice little added bonus also, I still can't speak because I have my Invisalign braces in. Um, Rick's just had a gorgeous um, deep body massage. So I've just come back upstairs to grab a hair bubble because I only had a cla um, claw clip and it was just like, looked like greasy hair everywhere. So I've just put my hair up for the rest of the day, grabbed my books and I'm gonna go down, find him and probably grab a coffee or something. And then we've got lunch in about an hour so we're gonna have a nice little like sauna steam room little read of my book coffee and um, yeah just get ready for some lunch but I'm already feeling so relaxed and we've only been here an hour and it's such a gorgeous gorgeous spa I mean even the change rooms are so beautiful and luxurious and it is also so quiet I've seen one other person since we've been here so it's a really perfect time to come in the week when it's just super super quiet so yeah I'm gonna go find Richard's Before we go inside and have a nice little sauna, I thought I'd bring you outside and show you the outside area because it is so gorgeous. It's actually quite cold today. So I'm hoping the sun might come out later, but how gorgeous is it? So you can chill out in. And look how quiet it is. And a gorgeous outfit. So excited to spend my afternoon here. about to go and get some lunch which I'm really excited for because I've chosen the 
gorgeous. What did you choose? I think I chose the superfood salad, but I could be wrong. What did you do? For you, I nearly ticked your selection because I knew you did that one. You go relax. Yeah. It takes a long time to actually relax. He came out the changing room and he was like, "Right, short." The only thing that I'm not like freakish size, am I? I'm not like. Quite yeah, I think they need to do extra, extra large rows. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel stupid? You don't look good. Yeah, you see them films where guys walk out by women's bedroom wearing the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that is what you look like. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, we're just sat here at this gorgeous, gorgeous little fire pit, chilling, and about to go up up here to the restaurant and go and get some food in a minute. On a sunny day this would be absolutely gorgeous. Like it looks over onto the golf course, there's all these like pods, all these outside pods, jacuzzis, outdoor pool, it's little cold, bar. So. No it's not cold is it? Just, I think it's just, I am cold because I'm wet. There's like a, this is a champagne bar so you can sit and have drinks. It would, it would literally bake perfect thing for like Hindus. It would be a lovely place to come for a Hindu, wouldn't it? I wouldn't know. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to get some lunch and then we've got one afternoon just chilling out and going to read my book, which I'm absolutely loving and hope that the sun's going to come out. Although, those clouds are looking a little bit grey. I'm absolutely starving. For you. So, so hungry. So we have some food and we have a little glass of wine or I might have a gin. Gin, wine, what are you going to have for your lunch? Can I have a drink? I'm going to. I'm relaxing. I might save it and have a bottle of later. Yeah. Uh, I got my ring stuck on my finger. <laughs> we went in the steam room before and I had my thumb ring on here. I've actually put it in my pocket now, I don't put it back on. I think I had it on and I couldn't take it off when I went for my treatment. I couldn't quite get it off and I thought I can't be bothered messing about. And then we went in the steam room. And you know when you can feel you, it started throbbing. <laughs> and so I started I panicked. I went and put my hands in the ice. Couldn't get it off. In the end, I got some lip balm on it and got it off. It took absolutely for ages, forever. It took forever to get it off. And I thought I was gonna. I was really excited to panic. I found this ring. I've not worn this ring in ages. It's from Ana Luisa, and I lost it. And I found it when we moved. So I'm so happy about that. So yeah, it's actually starting to rain a tiny bit. We're under this cover. But I can feel but I can feel it coming in. So she can get some lunch. And then I fancy another steam sauna. I think. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like my hair is gonna be so shiny and lovely by the time I wash it tonight with all this oil in. And it smells so so good. So we've come for lunch. I have gone for the chicken superfood salad which looks so so good and Rick, how good does this look? Chris, what is it? Crispy beef salad? Yeah. Oh my god, it looks so good. And we've got this amazing view. Just wish it was sunny today. Cheers. <laughs> I cannot reach you. <laughs> so we've got the most amazing desserts. Look at this. I've got a dark chocolate and miso tart, and Rick has got this coconut and passion fruit with passion fruit with popcorn. Oh my goodness. Come in. We are just about to leave the spa. We have had the most lovely afternoon. Rick has had a 90 minute nap. I basically read my book in the pool and in the sauna for like an hour and a half. It's been so lovely and then we just finished it off with... The bubbles have gone. We just stopped. It's probably good because we probably can't hear with the bubbles on. Finished it off with a nice glass of wine in this amazing jacuzzi little hot tub. There's three of these outside so it's actually so nice because you can actually get like a bit of privacy and a bit of peace and quiet. The sun is trying to come out but it's just not quite been there all afternoon has it? It's been a little bit cold. 
now. And put the hot the bubbles back on. I have one of them water jets. Yeah. Massaging. Sure? Yeah, massaging. <laughs> So yeah, we've had the most lovely afternoon. It's like, I don't even know what time it is, about five? I think we've got to go, like the spa day finishes at five. Um, and it's typical because the sun has just come out. Uh, but we're gonna go and chill out. I think what we're probably gonna do is go and have a little nap in the room, go and check into our uh, the hotel room, which is just like nearby. It's just across the way from here. Maybe have a little drink. I know, it's typical isn't it? I can't see. And um, have a little drink and then we're having dinner at like 9 o'clock tonight. The, the lunch was absolutely amazing. The food was so, so good. So I'm really looking forward to dinner tonight. My dessert was black, no not black chocolate, dark chocolate and miso tart. And, oh my god, it was so lovely. Yeah, so I had to Google what I was having. <laughs> well, it was nice. So yeah. We've had a lovely little time, it's been so nice. It's just typical that the sun has come out now, just as we're about to leave. But yeah, I feel super relaxed, really, really chilled out. And um, probably going to go and have a nice little nap, I think. What do you think? Yeah, have another one. How was your massage? Nice, really good. Good. Do you want to tell the girls? Hey? Do you want to tell the girls? About what, massage? Your massage. Nice. It was good. She actually, sometimes you get ones that don't just. You feel like a bit of a dog where you're just having a bit of a stroke. Yeah. But no, it was like she found not talking to me. Like, do you want me to get rid of him? Regretted that about 30 seconds later. But I feel mint for it now. Did it hurt? Yeah, but she had to get him really out. But it wasn't that. It was like the after thing where she said yeah. it's the first time I've ever had it where they've gone. Right, go in this sauna, then go in this sauna, then go on the swan neck in the pool and massage it out. Mm. And that'll help relax help. all the muscles. Yeah, it must, yeah. Oh, good. But I had like a really chilled one because it was this touch therapy um, and it was really relaxing. She gave me the most amazing head massage and put so much oil in my hair, which my hair was freshly washed last night. I was like, no, but now it's just sat in my hair all, all day and I'm hoping when I wash it now when we go back to the hotel room my hair's going to be so like smooth and really like nourished for this evening and the oils that she put all over my body felt so nice today. Silky smooth. Yeah and like I went in the sauna and the steam room she said go in the sauna and the steam room let it like soak in and before you go in the pool so I didn't go in the pool really until about an hour and a half ago or something like that and it yeah, my skin felt absolutely amazing, so. There you go. There, there's, it's so nice. This thing. Comment if you know what film that's on. What? Make your hair silky smooth. <laughs> I don't know. Really? Water no. drops, like, you know. No, what is oh, it? Oh, is that telling Comment if you know. Comment if you know. <laughs> so yeah, I just feel super, super relaxed. I've had no phone calls off the kids. I thought I might get like phone calls where something's gone wrong. Well, someone needed to pick, up, pick it up from school but everyone's been picked up from school everyone's in one piece everyone's with their like grandparents having pizza and it's all it's all gone okay yeah you did have one about football tomorrow you're not in the screen though effie broke a phone too effie broke a phone yeah did not say no, that how? Uh, she was ringing me to tell, tell me that her phone wasn't working so Jesus she, she can Christ. do some more jobs for that she's in so much like yeah. She owes me so much money for things where I've had to fix them and she's like, I'll do some jobs for it. And then she never does the jobs. So, yeah. But honestly, I feel so chilled and so relaxed. It's been the nicest spa day I've been on for a really long time. It got a little bit more busy this afternoon, didn't it? Um, so if you're going to come, I would say come for the morning, um, the morning session if you're going to do like half a day because it was so quiet this morning and this afternoon it's got a little bit busier but no no do all day yeah you do all day half a day but it, long, is, you know. it is such it is one of the most beautiful spas i've been to like the food's been good the location is amazing like you can just see for miles like and it just feels really nice isn't it it's like there's so many different parts so it feels really secluded like you're not like surrounded by loads of people so it's been lovely and now yeah we're gonna go and have a nice sort of chilled evening we've got like three or four hours before we eat so we can just relax yeah. and just chill out can't we? and get ready and have a few drinks and then eat more food yeah we'll catch up with you in a little bit 
once we um, check in. We have just come up to the room. We got a little drink in the bar. I've actually brought mine up to the room because we're like falling asleep down there. But oh my goodness. We've been given the most gorgeous room. Look at this view. How beautiful. Can't open the window. Oh, I can. Oh no, I can't. The gardens here are absolutely gorgeous. I feel like in the morning, I want to go and have a little walk around. They've got these all, all these amazing like sculptures. There's the big lake. So we're eating at, we're eating earlier than we thought. We're eating at quarter past eight. And we're both like, oh my God, we're so tired. Which is just the norm, isn't it? When you come for a spa day. So I think we might have a little nap. Rick is absolutely dying to eat these cakes that we've been left. We just came into the room and have been left these gorgeous little cakes and chocolate strawberries. So here you go. <laughs> so I think we're going to eat those, chill out for a little bit. I'm joking. <laughs> chill out for a little bit and then get ready for something to eat. I've actually like got showered and washed my hair, washed all that oil out of my hair um, at the spa. I've just put it up in this slick bun. I feel really tempted just to do a slick bun tonight. I just feel like I just can't be bothered now. I'm so relaxed and so tired. So we're going to just chill and then get ready for hopefully for what I'm sure is going to be a gorgeous gorgeous meal i'm actually starting to get really hungry now so we are just about to go down for dinner so i thought i would show you my outfit of the day i actually bought a skirt to wear with this and then have just changed my mind um i've actually just kept on the black trousers that i had on today i've just got a little like crop top but my jacket i'm just gonna wear like it's just really big and oversized so not really going to see much of this tummy, hopefully, because I'm planning on eating a lot of food. But yeah, I just got this blazer. This is the Misguided blazer I, in a size 12. I absolutely love it, especially like with the hair up, plain black trousers. And then these, these sides are from Naked Fashion. Yeah, I just feel like this is a super cash little chic outfit for dinner. Do you want to come and show your outfit of the day, Richard? Hi. Do you want to come and show your outfit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to wear the skirt, but I just didn't feel comfy and it's not as dressy as I thought it was going to be. So I thought I'll just keep these trousers on that I've worn today. These are my little misguided trousers, which are such a good buy. They're so good for cash or dressy little looks. Wow. Richard's in his Ralph Lauren shirt. French Connection shorts, I know. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Staple, navy, good, appropriate, smart, cash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else have you got on? Right. I went for the New Balance, because it's not as dressy as I thought it was. Yeah. And it looks a bit labelly with Gucci trainers and... I've lost you, hang on. So the Ralph Lauren shirt. What's the shorts? French Connection. And New Balance trainers. Hey, m and direct. <laughs> Bargain. Well, I think you look. I think you look very handsome, babes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Are you hungry? Uh, I'm a bit. Yeah, I am hungry. Oh, so. I've got my watch you got for Christmas. Bam. <laughs> Come in then. Come in then. Come in then. There we go. We're a little oh. bit matchy, aren't we? <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to my hair, so it's been a slick, slick back bun. Dark is very poofy from the spa. It's curly. Poofy. So yeah, let's go and get some food. Why do we always do this? I don't know. When I'm awkward. I have no hairspray or anything to do my hair, so I'm hoping it's not going to go super frizzy and it's going to stay quite slick. I've just had to spray perfume on my hair to try and like hopefully get it to stay back that's all i good. had that is good yeah but that's like it's gonna make my hair fluff up not go slick <laughs> so let's go it's like the beach look 
This hotel is actually huge as well. Isn't it so big? We thought like, it's such a walk from the reception to our room. It's so big. I think they must have like loads of conferences and like weddings and stuff here as well. But it's actually such a nice cozy, cute little cozy hotel. The bar was lovely, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> We're already lost. <laughs> Do you know where we're going? Yes. Yeah, it's straight on. <laughs> and my shoes are very, very noisy. Hi. Are you happy to be in bed at ten o'clock? <laughs> so tired. Do you want your nipples in the plug? Uh, it's been in it. Oh. There they are. <laughs> I'm so tired after today. Me too. We just got back. We've come straight back up to the room. We had food. We both had steak, didn't we? Mm. Which was good. Mm. Mum was really good. I eat too much. Me eat too much and I've done anything. We've eaten a lot today. I couldn't even manage a dessert, and that is not like me. The thing is, we haven't eaten a lot, we've just not done much. No. <sighs> but we decided just, we're not we're even going to attempt a drink in the bar and just come up and get in bed, won't we? Yeah, I need to finish my tattoo off, don't I? Which one? I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We told him, do you want to tell everybody what your tattoo is on your chest? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Yeah, but what does it mean? That. Which one is it? That one. Which is the one with the blue eyes? Oh. And why has it got blue eyes? What do you think? There you go. <laughs> I'm not comfy. <laughs> oh, what a nice day it's been though. Hey. Hello. This is not a good angle. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to... And you know what else I thought? How nice to actually go away and nothing go wrong and we get no phone calls from the kids or something going wrong. Do you remember last time we went on a spa day and, and Alex lost the dog? Lost Elton, yeah. We lost... My dog went missing. Old El Tony. No. Let's see. So it's actually nice just to not have a drama. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. I feel like I'll, I always feel like whenever I'm not there, something bad's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Like I get this horrible, horrible, like horrible sinking feeling. Anyone else get that? Like if you're away from your kids, I always get this thing like something's gonna go wrong when I'm not there. It's horrible, stuff like an anxiety goes, thing. Stuff goes wrong when they're there, so it's nothing no, new. It's like, I get this weird anxiety, like I feel like I can't enjoy myself because something's going to happen. It's weird. Do you think, fill it all in across there and down this arm. Okay. I feel like your tattoo has to just be what you want. Yeah. That's got phases with it. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? It's got a few phases where I really want them. I'm not that fussed, but I really want them again. Yeah. yeah. What phase are you in right now? Not really forced. <laughs> not forced that much. And am I getting too old? What for tattoos? Mm. I can't cope with your nipples being in this slug. Why? I feel like you need to cover them. <laughs> Stop. I don't think you should have nipples in the vlog. Why? I don't know. YouTube might not like it. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, also, I was saying to Rick. Just reminded me that when I saw my hands, this tan, which is the tan that I was telling you about last week, it stayed on. You know, usually like you go to like a swimming pool or a spa, and if you have any fake tan, it literally comes off straight away. It's actually stayed on. I still am like mega brown all over my body, not my face because I don't really fake tan my face. But I can mm. believe it. Like the cabron, I still am. Usually, I am pale. Like. It just comes off in the pool straight away. What are you laughing? Why are you laughing at me? Just ruined my nipple through the whole conversation there. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, babe. YouTube might 
What? Take my video down. You've wow. got your nipples in. They have a thing about nipples, don't they? Women's it's nipples? It's like Instagram. Wow, so what about? If you have someone with nipples showing, they think it's like, it flags as like, rude. Well, that Jake Paul's got a massive dick on his head and he's allowed to do YouTube all the time. Oh, God. Can't be that strict. <sighs> and on that note, we'll go to sleep, shall we? Yeah. I am so ready for bed. Mm -hmm. I'm already dreading having to eat more food in the morning. You feel like you have to eat it, don't you? No. When you come away. It depends if it's buffet. I think it's going to be a buffet. If it's a buffet, you get a meal cereal and toast, that's it. Yeah, I'm not having like English breakfast in the morning. No. God, no. I've eaten God. so much. I've got to think about the three hour old eggs. Do you know what? Every time you have an English breakfast uh, in a hotel as well, it's always a letdown, isn't it? You think it's going to be nice and it never is. You always eat it and then you're like, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have pastries and stuff. Instead. Yeah. Are you going to the gym in the morning? I might do, so I feel. I would come with you, but I don't have anything. I think. So, we're going to go, we're going to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Have an early night. Mm -hmm. I'll see you in the morning without Rick Nipples. I can't promise anything. <laughs> Good morning. We have woke up to this gorgeous view this morning. We have had such a nice little lie in. Spoke to the kids, they're all off to school, and um, yeah, we're going to go for a nice little breakfast. I feel half asleep this morning. I feel so relaxed that it's made me just feel really sleepy. Hi. <laughs> Rick's also absolutely tired out so we've got ourselves all packed up and we're going to just grab some breakfast and then head home we don't want to be like too late so we're not really going to stay here much this morning we're just going to head straight off but <laughs> so i've put rick's shirt on i just want to be so comfy today you okay glowing you look very red mm. you have a nice sleep yeah i slept really well although i felt like there was banging i don't know what the banging was but I heard it felt like someone was going to fall through the ceiling at one point last night. It woke me up. It was like a huge bang. Didn't hear it. No, you wouldn't have. Um, but yeah, we spoke to the kids this morning. Everyone's all right. Everyone's survived. Dogs are behaving. So it's all good. So we're going to get some breakfast, eat some more food. Do you feel like you're even hungry? I've got a coffee. Yeah, go and get a coffee and stuff. And uh, head home. We are home. Oh, I need to turn the top of dryer off. It's making so much noise. One second. Oh, I also have a sticker on me because that gave me a sticker. <laughs> we have got home. We have arrived home. Oh, I look pretty tired. I don't feel it though. I just feel so relaxed and chilled. We've come home. It's been so nice actually because we've come home and my lovely cleaner, my amazing, amazing cleaner, Georgina, has been and the house is spotless. And do you know what? It actually feels really cozy because it's absolutely thrown it down with rain. I have put my comfiest joggers on. And um, Seth decided he didn't want to go to football, so there's no messing about with football. Rick is on his way home, and we're going to do jacket potatoes for tea. And I thought, do you know what? I've got like, I don't know, it's quarter past four. And I don't feel like there's anything like really pressing for me to do this afternoon or this evening. So I'm actually going to do some baking, I think. I'm going to make some healthy, I think I'm going to make some healthy-ish, like homemade blueberry muffins. And also some banana bread with potentially some chocolate in it. And just have a cosy little evening, I think. <laughs> this is the first day we've had in this house where where it's been like a little bit cold and really like full on rain and it actually feels so cozy so I'm going to turn the underfloor heating up I'm going to put a nice little podcast on and I'm going to do a little bit of baking and just have a cozy little evening so I thought I would just pick up my camera and finish the vlog because I feel like I actually filmed a lot of content <laughs> while we were at the spa so I think this is going to be super super long um, 
but I've really enjoyed myself. The spa was so good and the treatment that I had was just so lovely, like so super relaxing and I feel, I feel like, I feel like I needed that really nice break. It was so lovely, like me and Rick just chatted and talked so much yesterday, which we've not really done because it's like everything's been so busy and I mean we have chatted about lots of things but just to have the time to switch off and like have a glass of wine and just sit together for hours and like have time to like just chat it was so nice and we as a couple as a couple oh <laughs> and as a couple I just feel like we really needed that so it's been lovely so yeah I'm gonna go off and have a nice cozy evening in listen to the rain outside the window and um yeah have an early night I think before back to work tomorrow so I'll end the vlog here and I will catch up with you all very soon.